We've got Astros and Brewers, and Garrett Cole was dominant for the Astros today. Just a day after Justin Verlander threw a no-hitter with 14 strikeouts, the second ace in the rotation responds with six innings pitched, 14 strikeouts of his own, only allowing three hits. So I guess this was kind of the disappointing performance out of the two, and you really can't say that, as they're the first pair of teammates to have back-to-back -back starts on back-to-back -back days with 14 Ks each. His slider was nasty. He was hitting 100 miles per hour. Him and Verlander are going to be a duo that no one wants to face in the playoffs. Then add Granky to that. That is just unstoppable. Your Don Alvarez, though. He had his 22nd homer of the year, and that ties him with Carlos Correa for the most home runs in a single season by an Astros rookie. He's likely the pass that you'd think. And speaking of homers, Christian Yelich knows a thing or two about them. That is long ball number 43 in the bottom of the ninth to tie it up. That's a clutch homer for Yelich. Now there's a four-way tie at number one between Alonzo, Trout, Belly, and Yelly. So who will win the race to 50 and who will have the most homers this year? George Springer, that is his 30th homer this year. So this was a game with a dominant starting pitching performance by Garrett Cole and a bunch of homers that were clutch in game situations like this one. So George Springer putting the Astros up by one run. That would be enough. So Garrett Cole, he doesn't get the win for getting 14 strikeouts over six innings. But the Astros, they get the win as the team. George Springer picking up his teammates. They'll take this one 3-2-10.